Battle control initialized. Hey, hey, people, Five Aces here. Don't let the ongoing refurbishment work in the background distract you from the fact that there is still some open array to be played here today, tonight. And with me, I've got two contenders for the King of the Mole Hill here on Sidestep, because that's not really a hill, that's more of a, yeah, more of a mole hill, the proverbial one. And we've got on the in on the right spot. We all know him. We all love him. He's a macro gaming incorporated, and he's in his traditional vomit color. It's Barf, aka Barfson, aka the Bloodmaster 3000. Barfson incorporated, the epitome of macro gaming, and his content. And the second contender, his a challenger for the day, is going to be Admiral Mo. He has promoted himself to the rank of Admiral. Uh, presumably not an admiral at sea, because otherwise uh, I would refrain from calling Sidestep his home map here. Yeah, and this is going to be a good match. We've got Ukraine versus Ukraine. Mirror match already almost, oh the dog almost finding a flank on the engineer, but Barf just being that extra little bit attentive, so nothing can go past him here. Um, there is a second dog en route, but I doubt it's gonna find a vector, but hey, Mo's gonna keep trying. We're gonna keep tabs on that as we elaborate on some little details. This is so scared's um, balance mods or balance patch, if you will. I will link it in the description. As you can see here, he has massively increased the line of sight of the dogs, finally giving them a roll. Yo! By the way, interesting tidbit. Can you for- I have to try this later on in debug mode. I don't know if you can force fire a dog, because what I know... Dogs can actually jump over cliffs, believe it or not, but for that to be uh, happening, there needs to be a set of speci specific circumstances. There needs to be a an enemy infantry just on the other side of the cliff, because the dog leap range is actually 1.5 cells or something, so a bit bigger than the uh, than the cliff. And if the conditions are just right, they can actually jump over the cliff, and it's actually freaking hilarious. Oh, we're seeing the Grenadier cheese being stopped by another dog. That's the third dog. What an investment here. Mo just being on the ball here. Amazing play. Two dogs. Yeah, I, I really like the line of sight buff. I think the devs should incorporate that one because dogs, as of right now, just don't have a predefined role. And giving them the role as a super fast scout unit would actually improve Soviet vision games so much. They're fast, they are nimble, sort of. They die when you look at them funny, but hey, it's kind of their job. Anyway, what do we have here? Double ref for Barf after a ref sale, and four harvesters already online for Mo, who has opted. Hmm. Yeah, he's opted for a rack skip earlier, so that's why he's so ahead on the uh, on the production timer. My bad. I think it again. There we go. Still not used to the spec UI. It's an uh, old habits die hard, you know. Anyway, up to four harvesters are both, and it's a very solid economical start here for Mo as well, who is almost done with his service depot. Barf not thinking about that yet, just rushing out that 5th Harvester, probably 6th, yeah, 6th Harvester on the build queue here for him. So, again, Barf is just someone who plays the macro game so well, he is going to have an econ lead, he's gonna have an asset advantage by minute, minute 6 or something, and he's gonna steamroll you if you don't play your cards right. So, it's on to Mo to prove that he can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best here, but, uh, he can tussle with the best, he's shown that in the, in the past previous tournaments, I think he even uh, in one of the naval tournaments he actually got a win against win against Lorry Driver under his belt, which is kind of the initiation, uh, the, the rite of passage nowadays. If you can beat Lorry Driver at least once out of 20 games, then yeah, you're fit uh, to tussle with the best here. Double flag trucks for Barf, he's just trying to find some manpower bleed, trying to find some value out of his two flag trucks here, it's a minor investment and a major nuisance as well for uh, enemy infantry as we can see here. You know, two of them, it scales up the damage. It also does AoE damage, look at the middle, uh, the middle infantry, it gets poked down with, despite not being targeted directly. And the MCV, oh, ne Mo needs to be so cautious about this, he scouted the two flag trucks, yeah, he's deploying in a very safe position here. That's absolutely the smartest and best line of play. Barf, on the other hand, has fired up his infantry production. The infantry forge has been lit, and he's just non-stop producing infantry. That's the way he plays. Mo not having any infantry in the build queue just yet. Yeah, how's that for poke damage? <laughs> yeah, the heavy tank rolling up and uh, say giving a big fat middle finger. 
to the flak trucks, just uh, bully bullying them around, releasing them a bit. Uh, Barf deploying in a very forward position, as is customary. As well, just as customary as the asset advantage. Look, without even winning or losing any engagements, there have basically no no engagements have been played out, and Barf is in a 5k asset advantage, a 4k asset advantage. That's just the way he rolls. That's just what he do. That what he do. And already with a big army on the left side, big army on the right side. Jesus H. Christ. This is, by the way, with the stance changes. So what that means, uh, without the stance changes, so th this means that buildings get auto-targeted, which, which is uh, still a highly debated issue in the community. Kind of dividing the community in two a bit, but hey, it's gonna get sorted out eventually. Also, I would like to uh, give a quick shout out. There is going to be a tournament by Lorry Driver this very week on Saturday. Oh, nice snipe. Double flamers. Uh, there is going to be a tournament by Lorry Driver hosted by him, and I'm going to livestream my games there as well on my YouTube channel. It's going to be. I'm still gonna upload an, like, an announcement video. But yeah, it's gonna take place on Saturday from 10, 10 a.m., I think, yeah. There we go. Barf is just getting ready for the A move. That's that's what that's how he rolls. He rolls over you. Oh, that's so unfortunate. The Tesla coil pops. What? That's a panic cell. What did you just do, Mo? He lost power. Like uh, the the power plant uh, fell to a stiff breeze. So he lost power. Jesus Christ, that was so bad. And that that was a panic cell. That was just like Dow Jones earlier today. Hey yo. Yeah. People just going into panic cell mode. Yo, Dow Jones, Dow Jones, uh, uh, Brokesters, take notes here. This is how you, how you do not do it. Mo, man, that was a panic cell and a half. He's now floating hard. He's floating 12k. And there is gonna be a base push by Barf. Yeah, you wanna tussle with the best, you need to, you need to mock her to be, oh, again. Yikes. Mo is in a severe power, uh, power uh, slump here. First V2 coming online though, so that could save his game at least a little bit. He's targeting the Tesla coil. Uh, the Tesla coil of Mo still standing. That's good, that's good. And what's that for an engagement? There is a flanking army on the right side that's trying to take out the power of Barf, but Barf uh, being the more pru having the more prudent build here, this situation floating a couple hundred power. And it's not gonna... Yeah. The V2s though being a good deterrent to the Tesla coils. And both just producing huge standing armies. Yikes. I wanna take a look at the econ advantage right here. That's 58k over 36k. This is not looking good for Mo. Mo? I'm just saying you're at a 20k disadvantage, like 10 min 8 minutes into the game. Yikes! But hey, it ain't over till it's over, right? Better keep an eye on this tab here. So yeah, nice V2 play. That's like the only trump card he's got left here. That's the only thing that Mo's got going for him. The Admiral, not going for Navy this time. I'm like really, really stumped that he didn't go for a sub pen here. And massive, massive float for him. 10k float for the Admiral. Yeah, he's, a, he's an Admiral, not an Accountant. What do you want from him? Come on. <laughs> Okay, that's just a barf move waiting to happen. We all have been barf moved on in the past. Yeah, barf just casually selecting all his units with the T key. Hey, that's a nice flanking army though. He's got oh these flak trucks do have dips on the uh, on the V2, locked and loaded, but still getting away scot free. Also, there is a uh, there is one yak at least for barf, who is now opted for a massive push. Yeah. It's not a barf move yet, he has not barf moved into the enemy base. He might as well have done that, he's got such a big asset lead. It's- oh wow, it's just- it's decreased to 10k, but hey, that's still- Oh, what an unfortunate turn of events! The MCB completely unguarded, just falling prey here. Uh, too bad, too bad barf is not allies. You know, maybe hijackers could do that as well. Just stealing husks. That would give them like an, an equal. Nah, I like the factions being different from one another. Okay, targeting the main eco lines, but there is he still has to contend with a massive, massive push out uh, from Barf, 
who is losing his heavy tank though. So the heavy tank is down, I guess Mo can reinforce with a lot of flame towers and hold this push now, because there is simply no more armor left to, to reliably tank at least. There is another MCV here, that's the second to last MCV for Mo. This army has shrunk in size though, jeez. Still a 10k, 10k difference, what's the production tab like? Neither of the players have opted for a tech up, so no tier 3 as of yet. The powerbomb time is also pretty similar at this stage of the game. Admiral Mo being set back. Oh! Wow! He sniped the MCV, that was so baller. Just deploying a Tesla coil when the MCV was retreating. Whether it was lucky or it was planned, it was still a good play. Just getting a free MCV for himself. So that evens the score here. And the economical situation. My goodness! Mo has pulled this back. He is completely dead on even with Barf now. That's not something you do easily. Barf finding some nice snipes here. Mm. Not worth it though. They're trading. It's okay. Trading two um, two uh, two V2s for a Yak. That's like a, a slightly even trade. Oh, sniping the Raider Dome, however. Now that's a biggie. Only loses one Yak as well. Very much worth it. There is still airfield and airfield and Yak production. Thus, uh, thus follows that there is still Yak production. But this can be dealt with. Oh, and the V2 shots. If they are good, then um, Mo is gonna take this engagement home. A cheeky little engineer. That's the engineer from the start, by the way. He didn't build a new one. But it's been revealed. Has it though, yeah. No! Yes, it has. Mo is sending a single rifleman to clean this mess up here. Oh, and Mo knows what's up. He's not letting him go. Ha! <laughs> Who let the engines loose here? Okay, so that puts Barf in a uh, slightly uncomfortable position because he's got a lot of assets, he's got a lot of army, but he doesn't have armor. He could use his ore trucks to tank because there are plenty, yes, plenty of unattended ore trucks so far. Okay, that's a massive infantry pushout. Not a single armored vehicle. I'm not sure if I like. Oh, another MCV gets sniped. Good yak play by Barf. And in come the Parabobs. What's the vector? It's decent. It's decent ish. Does Mo see it? Oh! He didn't see it, but, like, it could have been worse. It could have been way worse. Barf slightly misjudging the angle here. I mean, it's a, it's a 1 in 8 chance that you'll get the, the angle right, so. It's a bit of a Hail Mary. Let's put it that way. Let's put it frankly here. Another MCV. Mo, I think he's lost two MCVs so far. Oh, nice pop of the of the Sam side. He's not having any of this shit anymore. The second MCV go, gets away scot free. All the Yaks are down. At the current time being, there's only one Yak in the air for Barf. Who is pretty broke, by the way. Just, just saying, just putting it out there. Casual. Yeah, casual broke barf here. What the fuck? Mo has actually pulled it back. He's now in the lead. He's in the asset lead. Many good engagements, plus barf wasn't mining from his main base, which is... He could just transfer one of those ore trucks. Like, this is a double mine. You, you would need double harvester to saturate this. And on the other hand, he's having a massive um, overmining operation here. Those miners operating off dry patches, dry hump, dry humping the ore node, you know, it's uh, not gonna give you much of an of a of an ore yield. I'm not gonna yield you much there. Lots of Tesla coils reinforcing, and Mo is starting to starting to put the base crawl on. Neither of the players going for much armored vehicle uh, presence here. There is like one heavy tank out from Barf on the field. What are they producing? A Raider Dome's back up for Barf in a couple seconds. And the power bombs are ready for Mo, so if he gets a good engagement here, Jesus Christ. This could turn the tide once and forever. Also, that's a really uh, lacklusterly reinforced uh, ore mining operation here. Could get sniped easily, just a couple of Yak strafes. One Yak pass. Oh, Mo is having power issues again. That's a beautiful Tesla coil though, he's moved up his original con yard so the main base is uh, not fully operational right now, but he has opted for pressure onto the ore patch 
with a fantastically placed Tesla coil over the cliffs. There is nothing... Oh, it's power again! The power situation. What is he doing there? Mo, buddy, you're gonna bank some power. Got to take the power back! He's built another power... Yeah, okay. Just wants to snipe the ore trucks here. That's an amazing line of play. So this is denied the mining operations for Barf, who is now on basically empty ore patches all across the board. Oh, in come the Parabobs, what's the... God damn it, Ukraine. You know... <laughs> that's why only Ukraine gets them. They are so broken, but sometimes they they just come all the way from, like, Kiev. That's like a an order of Parabobs coming straight from Kiev to sidestep. And as we all know, sidestep lies a bit north of Kiev. It takes like roughly 20 minutes for the planes to get there. Always trying to snipe the Conyard, but there's a massive field presence for Barf. That's the Barfson move. Okay, Mo needs to be on the lookout here. If he loses too much to this engagement, he might lose his uh, one of his only mining bases. Oh, he's moving into the main base of Barf though. Trying to disrupt the mining operations. There are three flame towers. Mm, not liking the odds. Engagements all everywhere, all across the board, and that's smart by Barf. He's he's just found out. Okay, Mo is not banking up enough power here. I'm gonna go for power snipes. Mo, on the other hand, going for harvester snipes. That's a full-on eco raid. Two harvesters down, and a barracks slightly damaged. That that's worth it. How many mining operations does Barf still have? He's got, like... Ah, he's pulling the harvesters. That's good. That's good play. Good conduct here. Also, this is almost exclusively a rifle force. I see three rocket soldiers. One, two, three. Rest of those... No, four, okay. Rest of those are all rifles. Barf tends to do that sometimes. over investing into rifles. Not getting up many... Not getting up many rockets. But that's how he gets out his army mass so quickly, because rifle infantry just produces so, so fast with uh, seven barracks. Is he up to seven though? One, two, three, four, five, seven, yeah. The magic number. Alrighty. That's still a bit too strongly fortified, maybe waiting for another Tesla coil. Oh, five heavy tanks. Oh, someone has found the heavy armor corps. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's something we would like to see. Oh, the Parabombs! Coming from a perfect angle here. Yo, Barf has got the call-in strats. He knows when when to call them in from the north. JK, it's RNG. RNG Jesus giveth, RNG Jesus taketh. Eh. Okay, massive push out again. But there are five heavy tanks. Having dealt with the harvester, could probably snipe the flame tower as well as long as the infantry here is idle. Yeah. Very good. A couple black trucks here for Mo. Trying to just scurry away the yucks. And what's the. Ah, still two minutes off the Parabombs is Mo. Should move in his front of the army here. Or he's gonna risk losing many, many Tesla coils. Where's he gonna go? I, I think he should move his tanks to the left to just soak up the damage. Oh, that's a bad play. Just, oops, sorry. Just trading with uh, infantry here is not the right play. But he's recognizing the situation. Very good. He needs to kite the back a bit further. This is only infantry. Mo shouldn't produce any rockets right now. Yeah, it's enough. It's enough. Hold the door, hold the door. Even the ref survives. And on the left hand flank, Mo has deployed a cheeky, cheeky, bricky refinery. Alright. Barf is just not paying attention here. I think he should be yeah, seeing it. It's well within his line of sight boundaries. Mm -hmm. Mo just reinforcing, and if he gets a Tesla coil up here, he can scare away the Conyard. Oh no, he's going for the bust! Oh, ho, 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 yikes! The five Yak bust taking the refinery to boot as well. Whoa, what a strafe. Fantastic strafe. Should immediately rearm them. By the way, that's a simple button press. As of one of the newer releases, this got changed. You don't need to manually rearm them anymore. Just select them all, press the F key. They're gonna find their way home. Barf's MCV limping home. It's his... Uh, no, he's got two MCVs. 
I think he wants to continue the base push here because that's pretty much the only vector he's got. We're basically on two actual, three actual expansions for Mo, two actual expansions for Barth, and this one is being hotly contested. So yeah, let's take a look at the asset situation. Also, 14 seconds of the Parabombs. And we've got a 68k over 43k, 25k lead for Mo now. Wow. I want to have a look at the combat tab here. Yeah, it's dead on even. Wow. So, what actually happened there is that Barf just had mined out way, way earlier than Mo had. And then Mo had taken back the expansions that Barf hadn't mined out yet, and Mo just had so much uh, ore to mine. This is more of an economical victory here than a than an actual micro one, but still a fantastic game. Great display by both. And I think Mo's just starting to get the upper hand and he's got not gonna give it away anymore. Unless Barf pulls out a miracle. But he doesn't have enough for a Barf move, so he needs to rely on his micro here. And microing Yax is just very hard when your opponent is relying on lots and lots of infantry. Which is what Mo's doing right now. Trying to go for the Rift Snipes, he's got four Yax, so one of the Rifts is gonna fall, the other one. Not so much, maybe gotta go into the yellow. Yeah. Alright. Uh. Very good, very good. We've got another flank. He can't actually deny the eco here. Jesus, this would cripple Barf. Oh! What's happening? Sorry, I just had a small visual glitch there. One of the stupid programs that I have on my computer and can't delete decided to interfere. But it shouldn't be too bad. Alright. All the indicators are still on normal. Hey, there's a V2. It's unprotected, but it's it's got the Conyard on the fire. Oh my goodness! He found the snipe on the MCB and I think... Yeah, he couldn't deploy because he was too close to the cliffs. He tried turning around here. Jesus Christ. That's a big play and I think this is gonna seal the deal. This is the nail in the coffin. Well, no, this is gonna be the nail in the coffin. If Barf doesn't undeploy stat... Trying to squeeze out another base defense. No, not like this! Does he have anything left? Hey, he's got one conyard left. That was a fantastic snipe. Five flak trucks, now four flak trucks, just going balls deep, finding the MCV and squeezing it against the cliff so he couldn't deploy anymore. This was just phenomenal here. What a game sense. Game sense prevails. Too many base defenses. The Tesla Coil is gonna make meat, meat out of the out of the tanks. The rest is history. Oh no! Don't tell me the Tesla Coil is gonna. Tesla Coil went down to a freaking flak truck. These flak trucks are actual monsters. What the hell? <laughs> I'm digging it. I dig. I dig. I'm game. Oh, the refinery as well. This is. Just good target fire because Mo knows where the enemy structures are, so he has shift keyed them up. And the parabombs, once again. Oh, poke trucks, poke trucks scaring him away. Uh, didn't get much. Got like a flame tower and a bit of infantry, just a little bit of infantry. So there's not more of a field presence here for Barf. He's just, his assets are being starved. Oh, the counter parabombs, not finding anything this time around. And Mo can safely deploy here, reinforce with flame towers, and get a refinery up as well. So Mo, I think, has got this game in the bag. Yeah, 64 over 37, a 30k lead. That's something you gotta, like, you gotta actually pull it off against Barf. He's a fierce opponent. Barf seeing his last chance, probably in drops or something. Maybe he's going for eco raids. Let's see. At least he's gonna find the snipe on an ore truck. Or is he? Nope. The refinery gets sniped as well. That's what I was saying. This was right for the picking because that was a completely unprotected rift. And that's pretty much the last infantry blob. And if the V2 shots are good, let's see. Let's see the fireworks. Oh! That was a misplay. Come on. He's not microing them right now. Oh, good crushes though. Gonna get a point blank shot off. Oh! Ho <laughs> ho ho! Yikes! There goes the neighborhood! One of the V2s falls, but the other one is already on the vent too. Yeah, no, that's... 
barf is just being bled out here. It's being left left to dry. Yikes! Ah, uh, Bo losing a couple of trucks as well, but he's still got mining ops here. One, two, three, four, five, six mines actually. And Barf is on three. So you can do the math for yourself. Who's gonna take the victory here? If we are to go by strict economical terms. Oh, nice snipe with the yak. Just giving the, dealing the finishing blow here. Just an extra little... Uh, adding that extra little punch. Ah. The Yak is empty. He's trying to probably go for a crash today. It's just not worth it. All the Yaks are empty. And this one is not gonna get out. Is it? Wow. Okay, that was strange. That rocket soldier took forever to aim. The aim delay was a bit, a bit too much here. Yep. He's a scouting run. Probably going for the Yak. A nice. That's a, a nice freebie, you know. But that's all Barf has got left to do because he's got no army. He's got no field presence. Gonna go for another snipe. Oh, nice detail to it. Uh, attention to detail here. Detail to attention here. Yeah, but how do you stop this with the Arcs? Oh, that's a trick question because you don't. Don't let yourself be fooled by trick questions, guys. Okay. Oh, he's found another snipe on an MCV. That's. Jesus, Barf was saving up for so long, scrimping and saving for that MCV. It's just getting denied by Yax. Fantastic play by Admiral Mo, who has definitely earned his title here. Earned his laurels. I can't, unfortunately can't check the combat tab. That was fantastic work here. Actually, both, in a game of 26 minutes, both not taking up past tier 2. We've not seen a single tier 3, no Iron Curtain, no Demo Trucks, no nothing, no Mammoth Tanks, no mix. But it was a fantastic game regardless. Mo pulling it back after a 20k asset difference. Like, being this far behind against Barf is usually a death sentence, but he has earned his laurels. Fantastic play. Guys, check out the uh, lorry drivers. What's it called? The It's something... It, it's some invitational tournament tape, but check it out. There are eight players, all of them top tier, and myself. I'm also gonna participate and I'm gonna live stream here on this very channel, Saturday 10 p.m. UTC. See you there. Uh, insert catchphrase here. I see you guys next time. Five aces out. Battle control terminated.